This morning, the North Carolina Senate race still too close to call as well. Senator Tom Tillis has the edge with 100% of precincts voting. So you, you hear 100%, you say, okay, so it's over. No, because this is where those absentee ballots come in. And there are, again, more than 100,000 of those absentee ballots that still need to be counted. That is how tight this race is. Wake Up Charlotte's Kendall Morris joining us now. So, uh, Kendall, you're live out there. What is the latest on this race? I mean, this is too very, very close, too close to call. Yeah, Carolyn, so basically what's going on here is Tillis is ready to claim victory and on the other side, the Cunningham camp is not saying a word yet. However, NBC News is saying that this race is too close to call. Now, according to the North Carolina State Board of Elections, there is roughly get this 96,000 votes separating Tillis and Cunningham at this point, so it is very close. However, keep in mind there are still about 117,000 ab outstanding absentee ballots out there in North Carolina that have not been returned. Now, these are voters who requested an absentee ballot. It could be in the mail if it was postmarked by 5 p.m. yesterday, or those people could have voted in person, or they could have chosen not to vote at all. But regardless of those votes that may or may not still be out there, Tillis is ready to say that he won and is looking forward to six more years in the U.S. Senate. What we accomplished tonight was a stunning victory. And we did it. We did it against all the odds, right? I mean, have we heard this before? You're down in the polls. There's no chance of winning. Yeah, so going into election night, Democratic Party officials in North Carolina knew this would be a tight race. It was highly publicized campaign. The incumbent Tillis ran on helping small businesses bounce back from COVID restrictions, while Cunningham running on his morals till he was allegedly caught in an affair with another veteran's wife. Now, Kyle Cunningham did not show up to Democratic Party headquarters in Raleigh last night, so we have not heard from his side of things. Again, this race still too close to call at this hour. Live in Uptown, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.